for the longest time we jamming at the party And you whipping on beat Pushing everything on me We got Silento on repeat But if you think you're gonna get away from me Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to get this super girly princess crown makeup look. I've seen this all over Twitter recently and I watched Daisy Marquez's video. I think that's how you say her name. I'm not really sure. But I'll link it down below if you want to check hers out as well. And it's so girly and just super pretty. So I wanted to pair very glowy and like peachy bronzy skin with it just to tie everything together. So if you want to see how to get this super girly princess crown makeup look then just please keep on watching. So first I want to start out by taking Max Painterly Paint Pot, which is my favorite primer because it conceals all of my veins and makes my shadows last all day long. Then taking Soft Brown by MAC, I'm going to take this on a big fluffy brush and I'm going to work this all over my crease and just give an overall wash of color. I wanted this to be pretty pigmented though just so the crown would stand up against it and it ended up being not pigmented so I go back around and add some color around the crown but I would recommend doing a really dark shade in the crease so that the crown will stand off definitely. And then I'm going to take that on the same brush and I'm going to smoke that out under my lower lash line just so it's overall very smoky and a wash of the soft brown shade. Then taking a NYX Wonder Pencil, I'm going to use this to map out the entire shape for the crown. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to apply five dots and then one is going to start in the middle which is where the peak of the crown is going to be. And then I'm just going to go back through and lightly draw out the shape of a crown connecting everything using the nude pencil. To fill in the crown, I'm going to take Stila Liquid Eyeshadows in the shade Rose Gold Retro and I'm just going to first outline the shape of the crown with a tiny brush and then going back in, I'm just going to fill it all in just so it's very glittery and shiny. Then going back in with the Touch In Soul Metal Liquid Foil Eyeshadow in the shade Talia, I'm just going to go over top of all of the Stila shade just so it's very bright and a lot more shimmery. Then going back in with Cocoa Bear. Then going in with Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek, I'm going to take this on a small angled brush and I'm just going to outline the crown. Since I didn't make the shade deep enough in the crease that I used originally, it was kind of hard to see the crown, so I wanted to go back through and outline it. If I would do this again, I would definitely go back and just make a deeper color so the crown stood out more without going back through and outlining it. So I'm just going to take this angled brush and outline it and then go back through with a pencil brush and lightly soften the edges just so it's not so, so defined, but you can still tell it's a crown. Then going back in with Coco Bear, I'm just going to smoke this out of my lower lash line just to make it a little bit more deeper and a little bit darker. Then taking Nylon by MAC, I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone as well as my inner corner just so it's very glittery and glowy. So now for the super fun part, I'm going to take some Duo Lash Adhesive and I'm going to dot it on the, each point of the crown and I'm going to then apply some rhinestones that I got from the craft store. So I'm just going to use small little circular ones and I'm just going to go through and place them on the tip of each little peak just so there are jewels on top of the crown and I really loved how it looked. Then to add some more drama to the look, I'm going to take Christina WSP Lashes and I'm going to apply those and a few coats of Tartise Mascara. And then here is the completed crown eyes. Super girly, super feminine, and it's really great because you can make these using any colors you'd like. So now moving on to the face, I'm going to take some Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm just going to work this all over my skin to warm up my complexion and just make myself be a little bit more bronzy and glowy. And then I'm just going to go back in with a smaller, more dense brush from Morphe and I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones as well as my temples just to make sure I have a very defined cheekbones and overall face shape. Then going in with Milani's Baked Blush in Luminosa, which is one of my favorite blushes, I'm going to apply this. It's a very glowy peach blush, which is really pretty for the princessy look. Now for highlight, I'm going to first go in with the Morphe Press Pigment in the shade Champagne Nights. And this is a really nice gl like glowy, shimmery eyeshadow that has a pink undertone to it. And I love using eyeshadows for highlights because they work so well. So I'm going to go back first with that. 
Then to intensify the glow, I'm going to take those three shades from the Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter and I'm just going to focus those on the tops of my cheekbones and go back over like my cupid's bow and the tip of my nose and pretty much any other place that I highlighted before. And this is just going to really intensify the glow. For lips, I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Candy K. I wanted something that had a hue of pink in it, but I'm not really into the super pink lips on myself. But if you love the way it looks on yourself, definitely go back through with that. But I'm just going to choose a more muted pink. Then to make everything super glittery and glowy and glossy, I'm just going to take the Kylie Cosmetics Gloss in Damn Gina, and I'm going to apply that on top. Here is the completed makeup look. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you did. Also subscribe. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. I hope you guys have a great day and if you try out this look don't forget to tweet me or tag me in your pictures. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!